Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to use the Fibonacci retracement tool to trade crypto assets like Bitcoin. And I will show you a couple different ways you can actually plot the Fibonacci retracement tool on the Bitcoin chart. But before we get too far into the weeds, if you're not familiar with the Fibonacci retracement tool, it is basically made up of numbers that can actually be found in nature. Therefore, many traders believe that these numbers also have relevance in the financial markets. With that being said, Fibonacci retracement levels are calculated using a mathematical formula originated from the Fibonacci sequence. And the most commonly used ratios include 23.6%, 38.2%, 61.8%, .8 and 78.6%. In addition to, while not officially a Fibonacci ratio, the 50% level is also used. So now we can take a look at how you could actually use these Fibonacci retracement levels based on those ratios. And for starters, the indicator is basically drawn between any two significant price points such as high and low pivot points. The indicator will then plot the levels between the two points that you have chosen. And it's important to note that the Fibonacci levels are static levels that do not change unlike a moving average that is constantly changing with the movement of the price. So with that being said, Fibonacci retracement levels are inflection points where some type of price action is actually expected and these levels can be utilized to identify potential support and resistance levels where the price may reverse or stall. Thus, Fibonacci retracement levels can be utilized to place entry orders, determine stop losses, or set profit targets. However, it is important to note it can be dangerous to assume the price will reverse after hitting a specific Fibonacci level. Therefore, these levels should not be relied on exclusively. So, for example, you might want to use a moving average to help identify a reversal in the trend, or you might want to use something like RSI to determine if the move is overbought or oversold, and perhaps ready to reverse at one of these Fibonacci levels. But we will save all that for another video. So now that you have a little bit of basic training on what the Fibonacci retracement levels can be used for, now we need to actually apply that indicator to a actual chart and in this case we will be looking at the Bitcoin one week candle chart and I will be using TradingView for my charting software and you can actually use TradingView for free. I will drop a link in the description down below. If you don't currently use TradingView you can use that link to at least start out for free or perhaps upgrade to a different plan. Now in order to plot the Fibonacci retracement tool on the chart I need to come over to the toolbar over here on the left and the third icon down if you give that a click it will show you a list of different tools you can use and you can see I actually have fib retracement start as one of my favorites so if I give that a click I can now draw in the Fibonacci retracement tool and in this case I am going to start from the pivot high which was the previous all-time high and I'm going to go to the pivot low which was the 28.8 level that we reached after the sell-off from the previous high. And now you can see the Fibonacci levels have been plotted on the actual chart. Now before we get into breaking down these levels, I like to come over here to the little settings wheel, give that a click, and from here, I can set up the actual style for the Fib retracement. And in this case, I leave the trend line in place. I do only want to look at a handful of the different levels. Those include the 0, obviously, the 382, the 618, the 1, the 50%, the 786, the 168, the 1272, and the 272. Those are the only levels I'm actually typically interested in. Now, if we scroll down... I can eliminate the background color as you can see all the color over here, the purples, the greens, the yellows. I can give that a click and that can give you a little cleaner looking chart. 
Also, something you might want to do is rather than having the labels for the Fibonacci over here on the left hand side, where the numbers actually kind of get jumbled in with the candles on the chart, and you can see the 786. If you didn't know that's what level this particular level was, you might not be able to figure that out. The 618 is kind of getting into the numbers. So I can actually come over here to labels and move that from the left over to the right. And now all my numbers are over here on the right hand side and are not in danger of getting jumbled up in the actual candles for the chart and makes it a lot easier to actually read these numbers. Now I can see the 786 clearly, the 618 is no longer surrounded by candles and so now I have a better view of my actual labels. Now, something else I will typically adjust will be the coordinates and that would be for the actual high and low points and I know my high point for Bitcoin was actually 64,854 and then the low was like 28,805 and so that just really kind of dials it in cleaner to go from the high down here to the low and you might be saying to yourself well I've seen other people swing low to high and in my book, that would kind of depend on what you're looking for. In this case, I'm looking to see how much Bitcoin might retrace now that it's working its way back up and has reached an all-time new high. I'm looking how far it could retrace back down before coming into the previous low of that 28.8. And you can see the 7.86 level, which if you've watched any of my videos lately, that is a level we were watching for Bitcoin to hold. And once it broke down from there, we did see a heck of a sell-off we were actually looking for support at the 618 level which was 51,000 again when it crushed through that the price continued to sell off and in one of my videos I said if we break this 618 level the 51,000 level we are more likely headed down to 41,000 now we didn't hit 41,000 we came close though 42,000 so in my book that was good enough now we are actually seeing the 618 level or that 51,000 level perhaps acting as resistance Resistance, which can often happen the Fibonacci levels can turn from support into resistance where we see the 618 level previously was support back here on a few of these candles eventually turned into resistance then we eventually did get back above it and now we are running into resistance once again and so in theory if we see another breakout similar to this candle here we could see another move towards perhaps new all-time highs however if we fail to get above this level we could again reject right back down into this 41,000 level or the 382 level on the Fibonacci which is showing as previous support as well we got support here we got support back in on these candles and we dip just below it but again I wouldn't treat these Fibonacci levels as a line in the sand as more of a zone and so in this case I'd say we did find a little bit of support down around this 382 level and now on the current weekly candle we're finding support it looks like at the 50% level as you can see that wick comes right into the 50% level which also acted as support back on these candles and support back over here as well. So hopefully you can see where these levels can be used to find support or resistance levels which then might give you opportunities to enter or exit a trade or perhaps set up a stop loss or a take profit target. I will often take a look at the Fibonacci levels to find a profit target and in this case if Bitcoin was able to get above the 618 level and close the candle above I might go long and have my profit target at around the 786 level because we could run into resistance as it had acted as previous support. In addition to my longer term price targets are often based on these Fibonacci levels and if Bitcoin can get back up to all time new highs the next level after the previous all time high I'd be looking at is around the 1272 level which would be around 75,000 and I mentioned that level in a couple videos previously in addition to beyond that then we're looking at the 1618 level which puts us up around the 88,000 levels and so that is just another way that I use Fibonacci retracement levels to project longer term price action 
And of course, with that being said, on the flip side, if I actually want to look at how low we could go if we break this 28,000 level, then I would swing from the pivot low to the current all-time new high. You can see that it then plots in the other direction because we're now looking for it to retrace back down. And so we could see a retracement if we break the 28.8 level all the way down to around 18,000. And I've used that number in the past. And you might be kind of amazed at how often these numbers are accurate. However, you have to keep in mind that trading is a mob mentality and the mob all are looking at the same numbers you are more than likely looking at and as long as you understand that you can take advantage of that mentality and actually trade based on these levels so with that all being said now if i want to look at the daily candles versus the one week candles i can jump over here to the daily candles and i can zoom in a little bit on the chart so these Fibonacci levels can be used on a variety of different charts. Now, if I was to use the Fibonacci retracement tool on the daily chart, I would actually redraw the Fib levels based on this chart rather than the weekly chart. So I could just click on one of the lines for the actual Fib retracement, click delete, Come back over here, grab my Fib retracement tool, and I could swing from the all-time high back down to, say, the 39,006 level where we started this run. And now you can see the 786 level is that support level we were watching on the weekly where it was support, previous resistance, pretty strong level right around 62.8 or 63,000. The 618 level on the chart also shows as resistance right now and prior support that's at 58,000 and if we drop down a little lower the 382 which is around your 51,000 level is currently acting as resistance so valid intel for me I am more than likely not going to get bullish on Bitcoin before we, at a minimum we get above the 51,000 level and in reality I've been saying all along I'd like to see Bitcoin get back above 60 61,000 before I'm truly bullish on us moving to all-time new highs so with that all being said that's just another way that you could actually draw in these Fibonacci levels and use them to ID support resistance and perhaps profit or stop-loss targets so I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up. I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how I actually draw in the Fibonacci retracement levels and how I actually use them to ID support, resistance, uh, stop loss, and profit targets. So if you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you're interested in more technical analysis type videos, you might want to shoot that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to TradingView in the description down below. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.